Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to share with you this information I saw recently. So it says, uh, Putin says Russia will redirect export to BRICS nations. And uh, what is actually happening is that there was a BRICS meeting on Wednesday and Russian President Vladimir Putin says that Russia is actively redirecting its trade flows to the BRICS countries. And as you know, the BRICS countries are Brazil, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And BRICS countries, uh, they have not followed the US-led sanctions campaign. They have even stepped up Russian oil imports. And China is the world's largest oil importer and has significantly increased the purchase of Russian oil to the point where now Russia is a top one supplier of uh, oil for China and Asia has also outpaced Europe as the largest buyer of Russian oil. So based on all these, um, all these current developments it came to me the idea that um, the European nations, the European Union nations, especially the, the ones that are trying to enforce the the sanctions on Russia, they they are re really trying to hurt Russia, but in reality they're only hurting their economy. So I was just thinking that one form of retaliation from Russia will be to declare a total embargo on, on Russian energy, including Russian oil, Russian gas and energy, like electric energy, which is also supplied to a number of uh, European Union countries and this, my, in my opinion, will have the devastating effect of uh, destroying the European Union economy, destroying the, the companies that have relied for many years on uh, Russian imports of energy, cheap energy, which that's why they, are being, they have been able to be competitive for a number of years, but now with this uh, very aggressive behavior of the European Union, I think that it will be fair to have this kind of a total embargo on Russian energy on the European Union. I think that will really teach them what what is the reaction of uh, the economy of their own countries to this. It will definitely destroy all the governments, probably destroy the European Union itself. And I, I think that will be a positive development because the European Union hasn't provided anything for the world, they are just trying to promote their own interests and even the the members, the most recent members of the European Union have, haven't seen any any benefits from becoming part of the bloc, so I think it is a failed organization and especially NATO countries which are, some of them are, most of them are in the European Union are are just uh, you know trying to create conflict and especially has become more hypocritical and cynical with the latest development in the Ukraine situation so that's my opinion I will suggest Russia to do that I don't know if they will do it but I think it will be a good form of retaliation so going back to the topic of BRICS uh, they say Russia says is developing an alternative international reserve currency to, to reduce dependence on the dollar and the euro. And in the same forum, Chinese President Xi Jinping denounced the expanding military alliances as the US is trying to rally allies against Beijing in the Asia Pacific. History has shown that hegemony, group politics and confrontation between blocs brings neither peace nor stability but war and conflict. I agree with Xi Jinping. I think uh, I have already mentioned it in previous videos. The fact that um, military blocs have never brought peace, so they only bring war. So I, I think that there is no need for more of these kind of blocs. It was also mentioned uh, recently um, that uh, there is this interest in expanding the BRICS framework to include more, more countries. So China has put forward three new concepts. One of them is the BRICS Plus. The other one is Global Development Initiative and the Global Security Initiative. 
The idea of BRICS Plus is to include several new emerging market countries like Turkey, Iran, Indonesia, Bangladesh, Nigeria, Mexico, to name a few. Um, they also developed this Global Development Initiative. As part of the Global Development Initiative, um, they created a new bank that is called the New Development Bank. This new bank will, will provide funds to develop infrastructure in all the countries that are members to it. So I think this is really good. It's um, going to provide opportunities for, for countries to develop their own economies and um, is uh, something really positive in my opinion. And they were mentioning here something. Let's see. Oh, yes. This part. I, I will read this part because I thought it was very interesting. Um, they say expansion of BRICS is also necessary to push forward a new non Western paradigm of global development which is equitable, environmentally sustainable, and fulfills the socio economic needs of the majority of the world's population, especially the poor. Today, financial resources are heavily concentrated in the US and some West European countries, whereas the center of gravity of the forces that drive the world's productive economy, namely agriculture, manufacturing services, manufacturing services, human labor, and even technology is rapidly shifting to Asia, Africa, and Latin America. This imbalance must be corrected for global development initiative to make rapid strides. This will blunt and eventually neutralize the West policy of weaponizing its financial power to impose illegitimate sanctions, break global supply chains, and practice market apartheid against its political adversaries. So uh, I think in the same forum, um, also Russia mentioned that uh, they have their own alternative uh, way to transfer money which uh, is alternative to SWIFT, and I think this is a very good idea. I think all BRICS countries already implement this. So this will uh, allow countries to basically circumvent all the financial um, sanctions that the U.S. imposes on their enemies or on their adversaries. So this will create an opportunity for countries to survive when the U.S. is trying to use uh, SWIFT to block them, to harm them, and just uh, try to exclude them from the world economy. So this will be a very good thing. I think already also the mirror payment system is being promoted actively around the different countries in the world. So I think this is all positive to have uh, different opportunities for countries to not uh, depend entirely on the the Western uh, financial institutions, which are mainly dominated by the United States. So this is all I wanted to say. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And as always, I'm asking you to please uh, like this video, share it in social media, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for watching.